Hi everyone, it is Danny, and welcome to this update video. I really hope that you're doing well and we're going to be taking a look at what is going on across the North Atlantic. And so uh, focus is going to be on the Caribbean. I'll be talking about, you know, what to expect uh, as we're going to be heading into the next couple of days. There is some good news, especially for those of you who have been annoyed by the Saharan dust around. I also want to talk about the Pacific. But first, you may have seen news around about a solar storm that may, you know, impact Earth. So I want to get into that first. Now, solar storms happen as a result of magnetic activity on the sun's surface. And because of this, a lot of charged particles, a lot of energy actually get uh, ejected into space. And some of this energy can actually reach the Earth and interact with our magnetic field. And it's because of that interaction why there is the Northern Lights or Aurora Borealis. And, you know, it can be in very vibrant colors, such as greens and pinks, very beautiful display. And uh, the closer you are to the poles, you can actually see uh, these lights, the Aurora Borealis and Aurora Australis. So that is the name of uh, the lights for those in the south. And uh, these solar storms can actually disrupt our communication systems as well. So that's what happens with them. And uh, this is one of the most intense solar storms since around 2003, I believe. So just wanted to give you some information on that. I know there's a lot of uh, misinformation going around and even fear mongering as well. But that's what's going on out there. Now, as we delve into the realm of weather, looking at the Atlantic Basin, we can see here that there is a bit of activity around here and there. The intertropical convergence zone is active, lots of showers, thunderstorms in some areas. But as for the Caribbean region, as we take a closer look here, not seeing where anything crazy is going on this morning. But some areas may be receiving some showers for others, though, for many of us. It is a sunny morning, a very beautiful morning. And there is still some dust around, but I have some good news in regards to that. First, we'll look at the rainfall forecast, then we'll talk about the dust forecast. Euro is showing that we could see some rain around in parts of the Dominican Republic, Haiti, uh, the Virgin Islands and Puerto Rico as well. Maybe a few spots in Jamaica, Cuba and the Bahamas, even near the Turks and Caicos Islands. Much not really expected for the Cayman Islands and parts of northern Central America. But as we head towards the western part of Nicaragua, Costa Rica, Panama, parts of northern South America, there could definitely be some heavy rain. ABC Islands and most of the Lesser Antilles should be in the clear today as it pertains to rainfall. So much rain is not expected across the Lesser Antilles. As we look at the Saharan earlier forecast or the dust forecast, here we can see that as we're going to be heading into the start of the new week, take a look at this Tuesday going into Wednesday, there is going to be that decrease in dust across the region. So that's the good news that I have for you guys. That is what is in the forecast and it has been around for several days now and may have been resulting in, you know, those allergic reactions, the skin, the eye, the throat irritation and you know, it's overall not a very pleasant experience when it is in those very dense quantities, but there is going to be a break in that dust. It's still stretching across the main development region and still very much plentiful as we head closer to Africa. But as it relates to the Caribbean, it should be clearing up, although there is going to be some residue around uh, parts of the southeastern islands and northern South America as well. Finally, the Pacific Basin. So models still remain consistent on potential development next week around the mid to latter part of the week. So this is what GFS is showing for Saturday. So roughly a week out from now, we can see that area of low pressure and all those circular lines together uh, just offshore southern Mexico. So that is a low pressure system. Uh, potentially you know tropical cyclone out there the canadian model is not showing a whole lot but definitely has that increase in moisture and then as we take a look at the icon model icon is definitely expecting that we will see development uh, as we head toward the middle part of the new week so models are still hinting at that the good news it may remain offshore it may just loiter around offshore and move off to the west but of course i'm here to keep you guys posted as it relates to what is going on out there and that is pretty much it for this update video. So I really do hope you found it to be very informative. But if you have any questions, do feel free to leave them in the comments. I'll respond when I get the chance to do so. And remember to always be weatherwise.